Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. It is currently 11.32 p.m. and I don't know why I'm filming this late, but I just was too excited, so I just decided to start filming now. So yeah, here we are. So welcome to a little late night filming. <laughs> so yes, you read the title right. I am doing another binder makeover video. Hopefully this will be like the last one for like a really long time and another makeover won't be necessary in you know, a long time, so. Okay, originally I wasn't even planning on doing a makeover video because I was like, I just kind of did one and I feel like I didn't really need to, but then I saw like a couple of my collections grow like significantly over like such a short period of time. Obviously I started a bunch of new collections in 2021 and so my collection just like skyrocketed so i definitely needed to move a lot of my collections into bigger binders and i was about to do that off camera but then i wanted to make these binder fillers and then so i was about to do this on camera but i wanted to redecorate and so i was like you know what might as well just make a makeover video so yeah here we are we are going to be doing three things so the first thing is going to be moving my collection into bigger binders. So obviously right now a lot of my binders are in like one inch binders. I recently bought a bunch of two inch binders. Technically these are like three inch binders because I bought these from Target and for some reason their binders are like an inch bigger than advertised. So yeah, but anyways, I do have bigger binders so I'm going to move these binders into like bigger collections. I'll get into that once it happens. Second thing I'm gonna do is redecorate my binder. So this is like kind of like what my old binders look like. This one has a decal, but most of them have like this, but I just kind of grew out of it. And honestly, it's not really like my style kind of. So yeah, I do have some stickers right here. And then the third thing that I'm gonna do is, like I said, put these binder fillers in. I did mention this in a previous video, but I made like a bunch of fillers. These are, these are just like some of them. And yeah, so for some of my collections, I did make fillers and I'm gonna like put them in in this video. So that is what I'm gonna accomplish today. So yeah, before we get into the video dough, dough, before we get into the video, I did want to make a quick little shout out because, okay, first of all, look at how cute this binder is. I bought this sticker binder recently for like all my stickers and isn't it so cute? Like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be using these stickers, but I did also receive these lot of stickers. So yes, I think... If you guys saw my Instagram, I did post it on my story, but oh my god, look at all these cute stickers, courtesy of literally one of my favorite shops ever, Uri Chingu. So yeah, Uri Chingu is um, our friend in Korean, that's what it translates to, and they are like a small business sticker shop where they sell like a bunch of like cute stickers and like other accessories, just like basically a bunch of cute stuff, which is like so up my alley, and I found them through like an Instagram ad and I've bought from them before. I've mentioned them on my channel before. Like for example, like these stickers that I used to decorate, these are actually from Uri Chingu. So I did buy from them before. And so I reached out to them to ask if they wanted to work with me and they said yes. So yeah, they graciously sent me all these adorable freaking stickers. So as you can see, I am gonna be using, definitely using these stickers in this video to like redecorate my binders and i am so excited like this is just like a small look into like their store they literally have so many different like sticker styles and packs and all these other cute accessories yes thank you so so much to uri chingu for um sending me this i freaking love everything and i love their store like genuinely <laughs> so yeah if you guys are interested you can like follow their instagram twitter facebook there's all their social medias i'll also link down their website down below definitely check them out i'm so excited about these so yes once again thank you so much uri chingu for working with me and sending me these so yeah Okay, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So the first thing I am going to do is move my binders. So I did write down like notes on this random piece of paper that I had just to like make sure I remember everything. Like I said, the main reason why I'm moving my binders is because these one inch binders are not doing it anymore. As you can see, this is like literally about to like burst and explode. So I definitely need to upgrade to these bigger binders. And so I did buy five two inch binders and then I bought a one and a half inch binder for another binder. Oh, I forgot to write it down here, but yeah. So basically these are all of the collections that are going in two inch binders. I'm only gonna have two boy group 
binders now instead of three. So the first one is with AT's EXO and Treasure, and then the second one is with um, BTS and GOT7. Yeah, and then I'm also retiring this Alts binder. It was a good run, but honestly, I don't see a need for it anymore, just having a separate binder. So I just decided to make a separate binder for each of my alt groups. So my alts are Stray Kids, 17 and NCT and also twice as my old core group and I collect Chaeyoung and I have a lot of twice cards so there will be a Stray Kids binder with Hyunjin and all of my other Stray Kids stuff, NCT binder with Mark and all my other NCT stuff and then twice with Chaeyoung and then the other twice stuff <laughs> you guys get it and then my girl group binder again they all fit in a two inch binder so that's why i'm gonna have a girl group binder and that's basically it so that's like the moving process and then i'm also gonna like do some rearranging i like wrote it down here but you guys will see it happen so yeah enough talking let's just go ahead and start moving these i'm so freaking excited y'all i've been planning this video for like two weeks now and i've just been so anticipating filming this so yeah hence the reason why i'm filming at like almost mid night yeah let's start off with stray kids since they're right here That's all the Stray Kids stuff, and now time to take out the Hyunjin stuff. I really hope this angle is okay for you guys. It's really hard to like try to fit two binders in this screen, so sorry if the angle's bad. I'm trying my best. Okay, so I just finished moving everything into this binder. As you can see, there's actually a l kind of a lot of extra room, but I feel like that's good because it could be like room to grow or, you know, it's not always good to just have your binders like be up here all the time. So thank God actually that these ended up being three inch binders, even though they're supposed to be two inch binders. So thanks Target, I guess. But anyways, so yes, here is all of my Stray Kids stuff. The Hyunjin stuff we're not going to touch right now, same with the Cheezhung, but I did put Cheezhung and Hyunjin in the front here because I do actually collect their cards. For the rest of the Stray Kids members, what I decided to do is instead of like splitting all the members up into their own individual pages, since I have like so little cards for like the rest of the members, I just decided to combine all their cards and just put everything in era order so that you know it's organized like that and then um i decided to also combine all their big inclusions and put it in the back so yeah i'm just gonna do some quick rearranging and put them all together Okay, so I just took out all the photo cards and I separated them into like their different eras and now I'm just gonna put them in like age order and like era order super quickly, so yeah. Also, if you're wondering why I have a lot of IN cards, is because when I first first like started collecting Stray Kids, my bias was actually IN in the beginning. So when I first collected them, that's why I chose to collect most of his cards. But my bias switched, as you guys can tell. So yeah. Also, um, if you're wondering like why I still have these cards, even though I collect Chisung and Hyunjin, I don't know. I just really like these cards and I really like Stray Kids as a group and I don't know I can't really seem to let go of these cards. I did downsize a little bit and I did like sell off 
a bunch of my extra Stray Kids cards. You guys may have seen it, but these ones I did want to keep because it, I thought they were like super cute. And again, I love all the members. So yeah, that's why I decided to just keep these ones. If I just like pull a card for a different member and I really like it, then I end up keeping it. So that's kind of an issue because, you know, my collection just keeps growing and it makes me like buy the other cards instead of trading it. But you know what? Like I can't I just can't let these cards go. They're too adorable. So yeah, like, are you kidding? This IN card is so cute. So that's why I couldn't like let go of it. <laughs> Put all the album cards away now i just have all of these special photo cards that i wanted to put all together so yeah i'll go ahead and rearrange them starting off i'm gonna do like album pre-order cards so these are like all like pre-order benefits or like fan sign cards next i'm gonna do like random like photo book photo cards that i have I'm just gonna put this in here because this, even though this isn't like a photo book, it's a season's greetings photo card, so I'll just include it. Okay, and then last, I'm gonna put all the merch photo cards. Oh shit, I totally forgot about this card, whoops. Okay, now it's time for the merch cards. Wow, this fills up a page perfectly, okay. All that's done. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna fix the these like big inclusions and put them in error order and by member age order as well. Oh my god, I just realized that the only member that I don't have for this pre-order card... I mean, not pre- wait, is this a pre-order card? No, this is an album inclusion, but I just realized the only member I don't have is Sungmin. I honestly could have collected OTA for this, but whatever, it's fine. Right. Okay, finally. That is all finished. That took so much longer than I thought it was gonna, but all right, everything is now organized. Yay. Also, just a note, I did change the post-it notes on these, so instead of like the plain sticky notes that I used before, I bought these really cute Pantone themed fillers, and so yeah, doesn't it make the binder like a little cuter? Oh my god. I was about to do it in this video, but it took way longer, so Thank God I didn't. But yeah, we are done with the Stray Kids binder. I was about to do like the rearranging part after I moved all my binders, but the Stray Kids binder was already here. So I was like, why not just get it over with? So yeah, that is the Stray Kids binder all reorganized. Okay, next group that we have is NCT. So let me start off with the rest of my NCT stuff, which is in this binder. Just finished moving all my NCT stuff into this binder. I know, again, there's like a lot of space here, but again, room to grow. And again, it's not good to like have your photo cards, I guess, like overfilling. It's better to have extra space. So yeah, NCT is done. And next we will move on to TWICE. Okay, so I finished moving all my TWICE stuff and 
Damn, I have a lot of twice cards. These are literally all just twice, y'all. Like with me collecting all of Cheon cards plus like keeping some twice cards here and then also all these pre-order benefit <laughs> sets. This binder is full, full. So yeah, luckily again, there's some extra space cause you know, twice has a lot of photo cards. So, and they're having a comeback this June, which I'm super excited about. So yeah, that is it for twice. There actually is something in the NTT binder that I forgot about. So let me revisit that. So I totally forgot to put this in. So yes, this is gonna be in a future haul video that I have filmed, but I did want to put this in now. This is a index binder or binder index that SM sells for like, you know, their artists and their eras. And I saw this on Twitter and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like this would be perfect for my Mark um, section. So I did buy it and it's actually my favorite look of Mark. So literally it was perfect. So yeah, I'm so excited to use this. The problem with this though, is that they make the holes like so tiny. So I always see people like struggling to flip it. So can't wait for that to be me. <laughs> Oh jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> Do y'all see this? Why did they make the- I'm seriously thinking of like hole punching like a bigger hole for this. Oh my god, that is gonna be annoying. <laughs> I'll fix that later, but also um, you guys may be like, uh, I think you forgot something. <laughs> but um, I did want to put individual tabs for each member that I'm collecting. So like Chaehyun, Jeno, Sungchan, yada yada. I'm just too lazy to make new labels right now. And also my label maker is out of batteries. So it'll be like this for now, but I will fix it later. Don't worry, I won't leave it like this. But yeah, I just wanted to include that. Oh my God, this binder index is so pretty. So yeah, okay, moving on. All right, now we are gonna be doing my first boy group binder. And in this binder, it is gonna be ATs, EXO, and Treasure, because I feel like these collections will be like the most updated. I mean, I don't think Kai would be updated as frequently as ATs and Treasure, but these three collections will definitely be like the most updated and, you know, I'll be going to these collections the most, so I just put them all in one binder. Sure, yeah, let's get into it, starting with Treasure right here. Actually, I think I might put Kai first because he's like, one of my higher biases, I guess. And his collection is just so beautiful, so. Okay, first boy group binder, done. <laughs> Um, this is actually a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be, but you know what? With the rate that Treasure's coming back, this binder will definitely be growing. And yeah, okay, so that was my other group, boy group binder. And who knows, maybe I'll collect more boy groups in the future and they could just go in here. So yeah, okay, now let's move on to my last boy group binder. Okay, so now we have GOT7 and BTS. Again, I bought a smaller binder for this, even though this is supposed to be a one and a half inch, it's like a two inch technically. And BTS and GOT7 are like collections I, I collect like albums for and like some photo cards, but it's not a collection I like update frequently. So yeah, I thought I would still put them together because of that. So yeah. All right, so this one is done. This one is still a little bit like full right here. But again, no worries. I don't really think, you know, there's going to be a physical GOT7 release anytime soon, even though, you know, that is sad. Um, I hope they do release something together as GOT7 again, but I'm not sure about like a physical release with like photo cards and stuff. So yeah, and then with BTS, um, they only have like one or like four photo cards each time. So this isn't going to fill up too quickly. So yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Also, if you're wondering what I'm gonna do with these extra binders, don't worry, I'm not just gonna like throw them away. Um, I'm actually planning on using these for like my empty like pocket pages, like my nine pocket pages, two pocket, three pocket, whatever. They're all in these boxes and they're really annoying. So I thought if I put them in these binders, they would be a lot more useful and like easier to access. So 
don't worry, these will still have its purpose. So moving on to the last binder, which is my girl group's binder. Okay, now we have my girl group's binder. I'm surprised all of my girl groups fit in this one inch binder. Like it's meeting its breaking point, but it still all fits. So it will get a lot more breathing space in here. And I'm actually planning, the only rearranging I'm doing for this binder is I think I'm gonna move eyes one to the back because do I even need to say it? Yeah, y'all know what's happening. And so I'm probably not gonna be, you know, like updating my this binder. I mean, the eyes one collection as often, you know? So I don't wanna be like flipping a whole bunch of pages whenever I need to like go to a certain artist. So I just thought I would put it in the back. It's not in like that way, you know? It's not in a negative way. It's just for convenience sake. So, so sad. Okay, anyways. Alright, I've officially finished moving my last binder, which is the Girl Groups binder. I didn't think it would only fill up this much, but again, it does make sense, you know, if this is a 3 inch and this filled up like a 1 inch binder, there's gonna be a lot of extra space. But again, my Girl group, these are like literally all my Girl Groups except for twice, so obviously this collection will probably grow pretty quickly again if I, you know, ever pick up a new group or groups make comebacks so yeah especially with Stacy since I'm collecting Stacy now even though the collection progress is probably gonna be kind of slow it's still a new collection so yeah I'm glad that this binder can finally breathe yeah okay so it's almost 1 a.m. right now and I, I only planned on filming this portion of the video right now so yeah probably tomorrow I will come back to this and then we will go ahead and redecorate which I'm super excited about and then we'll also put in these fillers. So yeah, see ya tomorrow or in like two seconds. <laughs> Welcome back. We are here on a brand new day. So yes, now we are going to do the second part of this video, which is put in all these fillers that I made and also redecorate. Yay. As you can see, I did spruce up my sticker binder a little bit, got an overnight makeover, but yeah, we are here to accomplish this. So yeah, first I'm going to put in fillers for my 17 binder because y'all look at these two big old stacks. These are both all just 17 fillers because I'm doing fillers for all six members that I collect. So obviously there's a lot. As you can see, these fillers, I did sleeve them and they will be replacing the sleeves that are in here. So by the way, if you're wondering how I made these fillers, I honestly, I'm not a Photoshop professional or anything. I literally made these in pages, like, you know, the Apple app pages, the Word document page. I literally just found pictures on the internet of like logos and stuff. I put them on pages, I sized them, and then I printed them all, and then I cut them. Yeah, it's really simple. You can literally just do it yourself, super easy. So yeah, let's just go ahead and put in the fillers first and then we'll get to the decorating later. So I think I showed this before, but I did already put fillers for my Vernon collection just to like see how it looked, you know? And so yes, this is what it kind of looks like just to give y'all like an idea. So I did want to put the photo cards together in like sets so that's why it's on this left side and i haven't had a huge issue like you know with like the weight distribution it's honestly still fine so haven't had any issues and yeah i made fillers just so that it fills up the entire page i know it's not necessary and i could have just done like two 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 like i did before but i don't know like i said i really like to see complete pages so for like my old collections and stuff like that, or like collections that needed fillers, I did make them. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a time lapse because this is honestly gonna take like a really, really long time. So I'm just gonna speed up the process just to make things easier.
Okay, moving on to the next 17 binders. My setup is like so messy because of all the freaking fillers that are everywhere. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take out all of these like white sleeves off camera because it takes a while and I always forget that there's a white sleeve. So I try to put it in, but there's a white sleeve and I'm like, oh shit. So yeah, also just to save some time, I'm pretty sure y'all don't wanna see me, you know, take out white sleeves for like three minutes. So I will just save you guys the time and the pain. Okay, just finished all of 17. Yay! So let's finally move on to the next binder. Yeah. Okay, so this is the first binder I grabbed, which is my Girl Groups binder. So I guess we will do Girl Groups next. So I did make some fillers for um, collections that were like necessary like that needed filler so for example red velvet but the thing is i did kind of change my setup a little bit for my red velvet photo cards so i might not need all these fillers but whatever and then like also for itsy the cards kind of fit perfectly so i didn't make any for itsy same with black pink and then i made some for eyes one yeah that's pretty much it just red velvet and eyes one so yeah let's do it Okay, yeah, that took a really short amount of time because there wasn't that many. Girl groups are officially done. I also decided to like not use these two because I wanted to do an A pattern instead. These were originally together, like Rookie, they were together and then Red Summer were like at the bottom. So I made a filler, but it looked kind of weird. So I just decided to do a normal A pattern. Honestly, it's fine that these two are separated and same with Okay, so for this situation, it was the same thing, like RBB was like this, and I was about to go like this. But I decided to collect one Kino card for the festival day one or two. I did buy a Kino, um, the day one Kino from Amazon, so I'm hoping to pull Yeti or trade for Yeti. So with that Kino, it completes the page. So yeah, that's my like little changes. Again, I did make these fillers like literally three weeks ago, so there are some changes since then, but... Anyways, that's it. Let's move on to the next one. And the next one is NCT. There's not that many because I only made fillers for my Mark collection. So it's not that much, but also um, I totally forgot to take out like the clear protective like film that was on here. So look at how like glossy this is. Like this looks so pretty. And also I don't have a, th a three hole puncher or like a hole puncher here. So this will be like this for now, which is annoying, but what can I do? <laughs> Okay, there's that. So the reason why I didn't do a filler for- Something went wrong. What? Okay, so like I said, with the same with the Red Velvet situation, Superhuman, they were like together here at the bottom. And then I wanted like regular, irregular, and then regulate to be all together. But again, that's just weird. I'll just do an A pattern, whatever. So yeah, it will be weird to put a Superhuman filler right here. So I just- ditched it this is like all neo zone technically i know this is the final round but it's like still neo zone so i just put that there and then for this um okay so i did make an empathy filler like at the time but i did recently buy the group card you know like the group card that they had when they had that misprint with the album so i did buy that so this will go here to like complete the row and then there's that filler and then um the reason why this is chewing gum is because there was no like physical release for chewing gum and no photo card so i was like you know what might as well like put it in like that era so yeah <laughs> and then i know there's chain here but i just did awaken since they were like next to each other here's love holic yeah not that much for mark but anyways let's move on to the next point now i made some fillers for exo because of my kai collection there are some gaps i wanted to fill in so here's some exo fillers and then we'll go from there
All right, that completes Kai. So kind of self-explanatory, again, matches with the era. I wanted to like finish the row, so that's why I made those. Same with Growl here. Yeah, not that much to explain. Moving on. Now we have Stray Kids. So the only like collection I have super organized is Hyunjin's. So yeah, I made fillers for his. And I, as you may see, there are some fillers here. So I did have some extra photo cards, you know, extra photo cards, wink, wink, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I decided to, this is where kind of, I kind of got the idea to make fillers. I know like people have made fillers and I've been thinking about it, but I didn't really want to like go through all that effort and print everything and cut everything and whatever. But after doing this, I just realized that I really liked how it looked. So that's why I made these fillers, but that's why um, I decided to not make fillers for these eras because there's already a photo card, you know, filler. So yeah, I did like make extra ones though. Like for example, Miro, I didn't have enough extra cards. So I just made it like this. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in these. Okay, yeah, that's it. Not that much needed. <laughs> At the time, I did um, have a different layout for my Japanese albums, but I did recently redo my Hyunjin collection, so yeah, these are all of the Japanese cards that he has. I forgot to add all in at the time, so SKZ 2020 was like in the middle here, and, and I was about to go like this, but not anymore because I could just do this now with all in coming in. And then these are um, Taiwanese press photo cards. I don't think they make Taiwanese press albums anymore for like any JYP artists, so honestly thank god because I didn't really like them, but yeah, these are the three cards. These are all like photo book official photo cards. And then these are just like special cards. So yeah, these are like merch cards. These are like pre-order cards. These are empty for now because maybe someday I'll fill these in. So I just left those blank. I don't know. Sorry if this is too like chatty. I just really wanted to explain, you know, my thought process in case y'all were curious. So yeah, anyways, finally moving on to the last binder. Thank God, because this is Kind of taking a long time i'm sure you guys are kind of bored with me putting in just fillers but you guys get to see the process so that's the point of this video but anyways enough insulting myself i have a bunch of twice fillers for my chaeon collection yeah i'm surprised there's so many but anyways let's get into this All right, so we've officially finished putting in all of the mother flipping, well, what's the word? Filler. <laughs> Why did I have a brain fart there? But yeah, again, honestly, I should have just made like a plain like twice logo filler just in case. But yeah, again, cheer up was like all here. And then I was about to put this here, but I was like, you know what? Fuck it, it's fine. I'll just do an, an A pattern. So yeah, honestly, I could just like cut this out and put it there, but whatever. So. Yeah, anyways, we are done with all the fillers and now it's time for the part that I was very, very excited about is decorating. Honestly, I'll just start with the twice binder since it's right here in front of me. So yeah, but anyways, like I said, I do have a bunch of stickers from Udi Chingu that they sent me so graciously. So again, thanks to them, check them out. But yeah, I also have like my own personal collection of stickers. And I recently, you know, got this sticker binder, which is so freaking adorable. And today I actually did decorate it. So yeah, this is the cover that I made. Isn't this so freaking cute? I'm honestly so proud of myself for this. Like, hello? Kind of popped off here, not gonna lie. But yeah, so it's a really cute cover that I made. And then I just have this huge variety of stickers. So I'm super excited. I also did decide to get a pair of sticker tweezers. These are actually like tweezers meant for like stationary things. I got this from Yes Style and I always have put stickers with tweezers, you know, like if you see my previous decorating video, I did use tweezers and I was like, you know what, why don't I just get these like actual sticker tweezers because I always see it on Instagram and I was like, I need that. So look at how sharp this is though. I'm like low-key scared, but yeah, these are amazing. So I'm gonna use these. And just for like a little rundown, um, I did decide to like plan out like color schemes so I know like what stickers to use and stuff. So these are the color schemes. Stray Kids is red, NCT green, twice purple, boy group one is blue, 
Gorgor 2 is yellow, Gorgor 2 is pink. So yeah, we are doing twice. So let's whip out the purples, baby. Okay, so I think I am done with the first decorating process. This is how it looks like. Okay, these letter stickers. Not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of them. Um, I guess I didn't really think this through and the multicolored kind of throws me off. I should have just bought like, you know, white or like black letters so that it's in unison to like all the rest of the decoration, decorating I'm gonna do. So kind of regret these. Also, they're like paper stickers, not like plastic stickers. So. As you can see, like, they're kind of hard to peel off, and if you fuck up, then it turns into this mess and they're unusable. So, yeah, not gonna lie, low-key regret getting these stickers. I mean, they're cute, but, yeah, not for this project, I guess. So, I don't know if I'm gonna keep these. I don't know if I'm gonna, like, buy new, like, letter stickers or something. I mean, I do have these letter stickers from Uri Chingu that I bought, like, before this video. I'm not sure if it's going to last me through all the binders I'm going to decorate because obviously as you can see there's like a limited amount of letters so not sure if it's going to last. Uh... All right I have come to the conclusion that I am no longer using these so I bought these for nothing. Yeah these are going bye bye. <laughs> And actually, I did some like planning and with these remaining stickers that I have, I was actually able to kind of work things out. So yeah, I can use the letters for these ones. And then for Stray Kids, since I don't have enough letters for Stray Kids, um, I just decided to use this. So this is from the Beyond Live um, merch from the AR ticket set. I dug this out and yeah, it's kind of small but it's fine. So yeah, this will be used for Stray Kids instead of writing it out because I don't have enough letters. For the rest, I do. So yeah, change of plans. We're gonna take these out and we're gonna use these instead. I should have bought an extra sheet, like just in case. I'm stupid, so let's quickly change this. Okay, I did it off camera super quick just to see how it looks. And honestly, yeah, this does look a lot better. I know you guys are like, why would you use white? You can't really see it. I mean, you can still see it and it matches well and I only have white so yeah deal with it but yeah this is kind of cute not my best work but I'm not like a professional at this so yeah this is the best I can do I think it's cute so yeah let's move on because this kind of took a while <laughs> now let's move on to Stray Kids I did decide to do a red theme for Stray Kids so yeah I'm gonna do that also, highly recommend getting sticker tweezers. These are so freaking useful. So if you guys do a lot of decorating or like sticker sticking or whatnot, recommend these. These are actually very convenient. So yeah. I think I'm done. Honestly, I need to like stop at some point. Otherwise, it's going to take forever. But I guess since the logo was like this small, it just turned into like a circle almost or like, I don't know, a lemon shape. <laughs> I know some of these things kind of look like more pinkish, but I feel like these pops of red really tied together. You know what? I tried my best. Okay. Also, I didn't really have that many red stickers since it's not really a favorite color of mine, but I think it's cute. So they each have their own character, I guess. So yeah, anyways, let's move on. Okay, now we have girl groups, which is going to be pink with black lettering. And I have so many pink st stickers, y'all. Like 80% of my stickers are pink, so I have so many options. So hopefully I don't screw this one up. <laughs>
right, so we've completed the third binder. We are halfway done. This is the girl groups one. I was thinking about putting something in here, but I'll just leave it for now. Like I said, I have so many pink stickers, so I kind of went ham <laughs> and carried away. I'm doing time lapses of these, obviously, since it takes forever. So I don't know how long I spend on each binder, but yeah, here it is. I think it's super cute, you know? Yeah, so anyways, that's the girl groups. Next one, we have this which is my boy groups one binder, I believe. Yeah, so this one is going to be a blue theme and I do have blue letters for it, so yay. And there is enough to spell out boy groups one, so yeah, let's start on this one finally. Oh my God, I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> Like fucking something, but we could be calling me fucking sugar. I ain't no dummy, dummy. I like to say what if, but if we can kiss and just cut the rubbish. finished the boy groups one finally oh my gosh i just kept getting carried away i swear i see like little empty spots and i'm like okay i need to like even it out and then i just this happens so to be honest this isn't like one of my favorites i realized that i didn't have that many like stars and like hearts which are like my go-to shapes so when filling in these gaps i only had like flower stickers so yeah this is how it turned out it is it's like a little uneven, but whatever, it's fine. I think it's cute still, so. Okay, almost there. <laughs> okay, this one is my NCT binder, and this is obviously gonna be green themed because, you know, that's like NCT's color. And then for the letters, I can do black or white. Oh yeah, I was gonna do black because the boy groups two is gonna be white letters, so yeah. Okay, let's finally do this. Okay, I'm officially done with NCT, and honestly, I feel like this might be one of my favorite ones. I don't know, I feel like the green is really cohesive together. I don't know, it just looks so satisfying. Or maybe because my childhood favorite color was green, and now I'm getting like childhood flashbacks. But yeah, I really like this one. Might be one of my faves. So yeah, on to the last. Okay, now we have my final boy group binder, the boy group second binder, and this theme is going to be yellow, and I actually do have a lot of yellow things, so that should be fun. Last binder, let's get it. Okay, finish this. Honestly, I kind of like this too. Yellow isn't like one of my favorite colors, but again, it's like really cohesive, you know? So yeah, I really like it. It's all bright and poppy and beautiful, I guess. So yeah, here is this. And then I have one more little thing to do actually. So this is my miscellaneous slash solos binder. And I didn't move the binder because honestly, again, I don't have that much. So it fits in a one inch. And these are the previous stickers that were on it. But I'm just going to put the words misc in here or miscellaneous, whatever. I would put solos, but I don't have enough letters for that. And also I feel like there's not really a point because, you know, I only have like one or two soloists in here. So I feel like misc is just better. Oh no, I just realized I don't have any S's left. Are you kidding me? Wait, no. I only have one blue S. But like blue doesn't go with orange, you know? Okay, I'm just gonna use these star stickers then because the letters that exist on here kind of do match. So I'll see what it looks like. 
I mean, after all, this is like miscellaneous, so it is kind of random. So it kind of works out in the end. Okay, ta-da. Hey, that's actually not that bad. It's like a gradient almost, so, and it does match the orange. So I guess this did come in handy at one point, but I think I'm gonna try to move these stickers towards the middle. I think that's good honestly it does look cute still so can't really complain about that but yeah that is the miscellaneous binder and that actually does conclude this entire video yay i finally finished everything holy crap that was a long ass process and there is a big ass mess i need to clean that's not on camera so let me film the outro real quick. So yeah, that was my binder makeover video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed the process of me doing everything. Honestly, now that I'm looking at this, this looks actually really pretty and I'm actually really proud of this. I'm kind of thinking about putting like a piece of like packing tape over it because sometimes the stickers do fall off since they're so tiny. I might do that. I don't know. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know I didn't like do like a review or like a before and after shot because that's just going to take too long. But I am planning on doing a photo card collection update video, like a mid-year one. I usually do them at the end of the year, but my photo card collection is like changing like rapidly and it has changed a lot since my last video. So I thought I would start doing them like every half year, like every six months. So there will be another photo card collection update video coming next month in June. Yeah, look forward to that. That's when I'll go through like everything in depth and stuff like that again. So yeah, sorry I didn't do it in this video, but it is coming. So yeah, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.